Hello YouTube! Today I want to do a quick demo on OBS Studio and this hardware encoder you're looking at on screen right now. It's the UHE265-1L. Uh, I had a couple of questions on the video itself asking if it's possible to send a program feed into this box and then have this box relay that to uh, a major CDN. And the, the answer is yes, you can do that. And I know some of you might be asking, well, OBS Studio can stream directly out. Uh, why not do that? Uh, there, there might be uh, some situations where the hardware is, is not up to spec to do encoding, streaming, and production switching. So it, it, it makes sense in certain workflows to, to uh, adopt this setup. So let's uh, head over to the topology. And it's fairly straightforward. So you're going to have your um, desktop PC running OBS on the left here, bottom left, or a laptop. And you send your extended monitor cable out into the box. And from the box, there's an HDMI out. Connect that over to your extended monitor. And um, that's it. That's, uh, that's all there is for the physical connections. Now let's head on over to OBS and set up the actual routing. So uh, let's add a source first. I'm just going to go ahead and add a train video here. Call that train vid. And I'm going to select my file. And just hit the fade transition button whenever you're ready. Uh, so on the left is your preview, on the right is your program. Right click anywhere in the program screen and select full screen and slide over to your extended monitor. In this case, mine is called uh, DVD24 something. Select that and then I'll switch over to my SRT feed that's coming from that encoder box and this is it here, full screen. So you notice there wasn't any audio coming there you'd go ahead and uh, click on the cog wheel for your audio settings for that uh, train video and make sure you have it on monitor and output and that'll send it out back to the, the encoder box. You got to be sure you're using uh, your system audio is, is for your desktop is routing through your HDMI as well as opposed to your regular speakers. So when you're done and you want to reclaim your desktop, simply simply right click on your extended monitor and select close. And then your desktop is going to return to normal. And uh, let's take a look quickly at the encoder. So here's the SRT stream URL I was pulling from to do the demo. And here's the uh, quick look at the settings. And this field is where you're putting your CDN parameters like livestream.com or YouTube or wherever you're sending it to. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Now, this, uh, this box does not have a start and stop uh, stream button. So as soon as you enter your CDN parameters, it tries to connect and it starts sending whatever, uh, whatever is connected to it. So just keep that in mind. Even, even if, if nothing is connected to it, what it'll do, it'll send a test pattern instead. Well, folks, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any, any questions regarding this setup or the product, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks.